Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing. Uh, this unboxing is going to be a bit longer than my typical unboxings because today we're going to be looking at the first three books of The Locked Tomb by Tamsin Weir. These are the Illumicrate exclusive editions and there's a little bit more to go over with these uh, than my typical unboxings and I will be showing the original editions that Illumicrate uh, did at the end of the video as long as uh, some comments about what happened with that. All right, so let's hope that these came in in decent shape. They certainly seem like they're going to stir me in a box. Uh, so, I'm going to fail the first thing. And, oh, okay. So we have a little, looks like a little author letter card here. We're going to go in a little closer so you can maybe pause the screen to look at that if you'd like. And then on the back, it continues. It's actually a two, two-sided letter here. Okay, I'll put that aside. And we're just gonna pull these out of the box one by one. And we'll look at them one by one. Okay, so here's the three books. They did come bubble wrapped and it looks like there was plenty of paper inside the box here, so they should be okay as far as condition goes. But these babies are banged up and that means they were before they ever packaged them. Okay, let's take a look at each one individually. All right, here we go. There is Gideon, and we have orange sprayed edges. They look a little more dull. I'll show you the side in a minute on the video than they actually are. They're a little brighter than that. And there's the edges. Move this just a little bit closer. Very cool. I like that. Okay. Uh, let's get this opened up. All right. That is... The naked hardcover, super cool, lots of foil, nice details on that, and then the spine, and the back is just blank. Uh, there is nothing on the end papers, it's just blank, and we have a special signed tip-in page, which is really spooky and awesome. Wow. That is incredible. All right. Let's just take a quick clip here. Okay. Again, nothing on the back end papers. Nothing on the back, so we'll just place him right here, and we'll take a look at the dust jacket, because there is art inside the dust jacket as well. And it looks like that is actually torn. That's a bummer. That is very upsetting. Oh well, what can you do, right? And that was definitely torn before it went in the box, unfortunately. And the back of the dust jacket. All right, so I'm just gonna put that aside. And we're gonna go on to Harrow. Front cover, spine, and the back, and we have some nice blue sprayed edges, top to bottom, and nice design there, stencil design, super cool. Okay. And then, that is the naked hardcover. It's a nice silver foil design here. And again, the back is blank. There's nothing on the end papers. And again, signed tip-in page. I was kind of hoping the tip-in pages would be different, but it looks like they have the exact same page in every one. 
turned, we have some nice artwork on the end papers. Wow. That is super... I'm sorry, an artwork on the end papers. Art inside the dust jacket. Actually, it looks like, to me, these are actually reversible dust jackets. Because you see how they have that? It looks like a little line with the spine of the book. So maybe this actually reversible dust jackets. I'll put it in the comments if I mess that up. Which I probably did, I think, in this instance. Okay. And of course we have the newest release in this, which is Noma. So we'll unveil that. Okay. And this is Nona. Almost has like a little, like a pinkish purple colored edge here, top and bottom. And of course, stencil design there. And we have a little pinkish purple foil design here. Very nice. And the spine, back is blank, and again the same exact tip and page as the others. If they're going to use it three times, at least it's awesome, which it definitely is. And again, the inside. Super cool. So it looks like so far for damage, all I have is you know, a couple little bends here and there and one little tear on Gideon, but I mean, personally, that little tear doesn't really bother me too much because I have no intention of trying to resale these or anything anyway, so they're just going to stay with me forever. So it's not like I have to worry about condition as far as that goes. So actually, I'm going to pull this back out so I can show the covers and everything at a glance here. There we go. So that was all three of the books. Again, so far the only real, I wouldn't want to say disappointment for me, but surprise is that they had three of the same tipping pages signed, but at least it's a signed book, so officially that's, that's okay with me. And the author letter was actually a nice surprise too. Now, some of you know they already did exclusive editions from a lure crate for the first two books, and there was a big to-do about them redoing these ones and no longer doing these ones. And frankly, I can't blame people for being kind of mad because, I mean, a lot of times uh, a subscription will do like the first book in a series in a box and they don't necessarily continue on with it, which is fine. But I think it's pretty fair for readers and buyers to assume that if you do book one and you do book two, you're probably going to go on with the series. So I feel like the people like me who who got the first two kind of got the short end of the stick on this. And if people were angry, frankly, I think they probably should have been. Uh, and they tried to say that, you know, it's no big deal because Tor, who put these books out, they were like, well, you know, they're doing the black sprayed edge version of Nona. It's the exact same thing. Well, no, it isn't. It's not the exact same thing. And people who got these first two books know that it's not the exact same thing because on the inside of these, there is a special signed tip-in page that the Tor edition doesn't have. So, let's see if I can find that. So I know it's in there somewhere. I just saw it. Here we go. Like, here's the one for Gideon. Right? Here's the special Illumicrate tip-in page, and Harrow has one also. So if you're going to say something's the same, it better be the same. And in this case, it was not the same. Look, look at this tip-in page. It even has a little skull doodle on this. Totally cool. So the regular tour edition and the Illumicrate tour editions are not exactly the same thing. You know, and I know some people who could get one of these books and not the other went out and spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars trying to acquire the other one just to have them abandon doing these editions and then going on to these editions. So a lot of people were mad about that, and frankly, I wasn't that happy about it either. Uh, lucky, luckily for me, when I acquired these, it was just, you know, for the regular price when they put them out, which was nice. I also just noticed when I pulled one of these opens, opened that these actually have 
art on the end papers, whereas the new ones they just put out don't, which was actually a little surprising. The end papers on these, well, actually just that one it looks like. Gideon doesn't have that, so the end papers on this version of Harrow are actually really neat, as opposed to there being nothing on the new ones. So that's just a quick little aside about what Illumicrate did with this. Again, kind of gave people a raw deal when they didn't continue doing this, but I mean, at least what they came out with to replace it was really nice. So there is that. I don't think they meant any harm when they did this. I think they thought they were doing a good thing, but I guess it depends on whether or not you were able to get the first two or you weren't, how you would feel about that. But that's just my little two cents about that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because there's going to be plenty more unboxings coming.